Welcome to this BGraphy tutorial. Today we'll explore the power of computational design on the cloud to create a parametric chandelier using knots and their various functions. This demo showcases BGraphy's parametric design capabilities. The chandelier is a spiral shape made up of boxes. The user can adjust the overall height, diameter, and number of boxes within the spiral design. The boxes can be manipulated to change their size along the helix by using the graph mapper node. We'll begin by defining the adjustable parameters of our chandelier. We'll use range input nodes to control the overall height, diameter, and the number of segments within the spiral design. These nodes allow us to set a minimum and maximum value, giving us control over the design variability. Now, let's create the base spiral shape. The helix node is perfect for this. We'll use our defined height as input, and we'll further adjust the spacing between the spirals by using a multiplication node to create a fraction of the overall height. And with the division node, we will get the radius of the helix. Now we use the divide by count node. It takes a curve, in this case our spiral, and divides it into a certain number of points, as determined by the count parameter we defined earlier. The box by center node allows us to create boxes centered at specific points by using the points generated along our helix. At this point, we have a series of boxes following the helix node. To give this a more seamless, unified look, we'll employ the pipe node. This node is useful for creating a cylindrical surface around a given curve. We introduce the list sequence SEC node. It takes a start value, an end value, and counts as input. In our case, we'll use the this node to create an array of numbers that will determine the size of each box along the spiral. To introduce a visually dynamic effect, we'll utilize a graph mapper node. This node allows us to remap a set of values based on a chosen function. Use the bounds node because it determines the minimum and maximum values in an array of numbers. Now, we can fine tune the size variation of our boxes. The Remap Numbers node is a tool for adjusting a range of values. It allows us to map our original range, as determined by the Bounds node, to a new, desired target range. By adjusting the target range, we can control how dramatically the size of our boxes will change along the helix. Finally, we'll add depth and realism by applying materials to our chandelier. The Apply Material node allows us to assign various properties to our model. These properties include color, metallicity roughness, and opacity. By adjusting these properties, we can achieve a highly realistic appearance for our chandelier. Now let's activate the demo from the menu to the right and see our model. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.